Today we're making the Galapagos Cooler, submitted by Kyle. What's your favorite supervillain? Friend from New Orleans, using Kachasa. That's the stuff right there. That's, uh, what is it? Yagara Kachasa. Look it up, make this drink, keep watching, stay tuned. Welcome to Comic Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schober. That, my friends, that's Ian Andrews. You can find him at, uh, he's on the internet. <laughs> I don't know. Obviously. He doesn't use social media. Right there. Yeah, it's, I, I, I'm, it's like Ian I'm really bad at, at social Ian, media. Yeah. I fail at social media. You can I email me. I, I work, it's, I, okay. it's a job. It's too much work. I work at it pretty yeah. hard. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? I'm not really all that interesting. She doesn't even yeah. try. <laughs> Today's episode is produced by Sean McGoggle. Yep. And the recipe is for the Galapagos, Galapagos Cooler three ounces of cachaça. We're, we're using Yagara. We met these guys down at uh, Tales. We did an interview with them. The series that's up on the video. Cool group, of, cool couple guys. Hamilton and uh, Thiago. Thiago. Very, very fun to sit down with them. Very cool. To hang we'll learn a lot about Cachaça. Uh, if you want to go watch those videos, yeah. I'll see if I can remember to put them. They should either be above. There'll be some place in here. Ounce and a half of sour mix. One ounce melon liquor. We got some Midori. Half ounce of flaring. We got some BG Reynolds. Half ounce tonic water. I'm guessing this is Q. Yep. Yep. And a bar spoon full of passion fruit bitters from. Boy Drinks World. Boy Drinks World. One of the first brands that I started carrying that's relatively unknown that sold like immediately. Yeah, yeah. Like that's it was cool. very strange. They haven't sold a lot lately, but things go in waves. Um, I just, I didn't know. He's even in the um, the Bitterman's uh, field guide to cocktail bitters. Oh, really? uh, a guy that doesn't have anything to do with the relationship with the Bitterman's brand is part of and. He's in there. So I was like, oh, that's pretty good. You must be known enough that you got into the field guy. I forgot how well that smelled. That good that's this? cigar smells. Mm. This is the one you like the best out of the three, right? I don't even remember. They were all good, I think. Yeah, I think it's, I like the different one. I like the one that we didn't, we can't get. Yeah. The, old, the grandfather's. The grandfather's version of it. No, the, no. That was one bottle. I think it was a yellow bottle. The, yellow, the gold? I the think I like one, the gold the, the middle best. Line. Yeah, this one's uh, they got the funkiness to it, the cachaça funkiness. Yeah, it's good yeah. stuff. It's a cool bar. Um, if you've if you never had cachaça, I would suggest going out to a Brazilian restaurant, usually the steak places where you they, they give you serve you steak and they cut it off. You the get little, the meat sweats. Yeah, you get the meat sweats. They have like a, a pole of meat and you like <laughs> <laughs> you shave your pole down and, pole and you peel it off. Wow, a whole bar spoon full of this stuff? Yeah. Bar it's it's actually very light. Um I think when I was talking to him, um he said that that was probably not <laughs> the best beer to start with. <laughs> it's almost there. Almost I'm thinking there. this is five dashes. Is that good? Is that good? Nope, one more. Six I dashes. I can still see the rim. There you go. We're going six dashes of this stuff. It's, it's, the, the this is one of the, I had an argument at one point with um, Adam Almagreb from uh, Adam's Bitters. And he told me that there's no way you can make, it's like impossible. You can't, pass for bitters won't really work. I'm like, well, they're right there, <laughs> Dick. You know, if you. And his argument was there too. There's too much water to make the bitter out of them. And they are watery. They're watery. Not, not the bitters, but I mean the actual. Yeah. Fruit. And it makes it. It makes it more challenging. I'm gonna make some clear ice. Ice this bitch. You're, are you all out? No. But you just never get it. So. I never do, do I? No. <laughs> I always have to get it special. The delay. It's theatrical delay. It's a theatrical delay. So you can optionally rim this with watermelon flavored sugar and garnish it with a watermelon. Kyle works this for It's season right now where we're at. So yeah, that's sorry, true. Kyle. And I don't even know. I'm thinking watermelon oh, sugar is something you have to make. You I can see why rum, the watermelon right? sugar would work with rum? this color. Do we, we need to put tonic in there or something? Yep. <laughs> okay. I'm just wondering. Drink that. It's going to taste better with other tonic. Well, it's yeah. only half ounce tonic. You think you, you can't fit a half ounce of tonic in there? Challenge accepted. <laughs> okay, you can't fit it and keep it from bubbling over. Yeah, <laughs> from spilling everywhere. Does that even measure half ounce? Yeah. Uh. Are you actually doing the whole measure? I think you lied. You got it. Don't you have to stir it or something? Oh, you want me to take a picture first? Wait, I can't. Yeah, probably. Okay. Whoops, it's stirred. There you go. Can I try it now? This is really fucking cool looking color. You can do whatever the hell you cool. want. It's, it's your drink. Oh, really? I don't want to touch your straw. 
So you, oh, well, so you decided to shove it. Envelop the whole thing in your mouth? You guys found the flaw in my logic. Yeah. Damn it. Here. Who are you, Karnak? <laughs> Find the flaw in all things. Karnak? Is this another singer? It's a Marvel character. His superpower is to find and exploit the flaw in all things. It has a lot of cachaça flavor. Yeah. Well, there's three ounces of cachaça in there. <laughs> this is a pretty big drink. Yeah. Um, I mean, even for a Long Island IC, that's that's a pretty intense. Mm. Like, if at Long Island, properly made, it's not going to have three ounces. It's I gonna... like the flavors in there. But you're pausing. I think the balance is a little bit off. What do you mean? Too sweet? Yeah, it needs more sour, I think. So it's got flaritum, which is sugary, Midori, which is sugary, sour mix, sour mix has sugar. Has sugar. It so doesn't have enough sour. You want more acidity? Right? I want a little bit more acidity of that. I, I love the flavor because I, I like the cachaca. It's got. It goes really well with Midori and the it has uh, even passion fruit flavor. Uh, the bitters, which are not. There's a lot of bitters in there. Yeah, over here. Yeah. Um, but I, I think I want a little more acidity in that. But I do like the flavors, so I'm not taking anything away from the uh, flavor choices. Um, for the fact that it has any level of quinine in it, it's not it's not really bad. <laughs> I mean, you're you like you're sensitive. Yeah, yeah. I, I, quinine. I like a gin and tonic. I don't know why. Like fine amount of quinine in there, that's fine. Yeah. But when you bring in a lot of other flavors, it's a. Uh, it tends to, I don't know, quinine up everything. <laughs> <laughs> But is that, that a word? It is now. It is that, now. That's a it's verb, a verb. I mean. It's a verb. <laughs> it has a definite defining cachaca flavor that is yeah. not a turnoff. Cachaca for me is not my favorite style of product. Oh, but it's that good. brand is pretty good. Right. I'm going to say that. Yeah, Jen does it like It has cachaca. a unique, yeah, but you like their stuff. Cachaca right? has a very defining flavor that nothing can compare against. Not yeah. even. Not even a Martinique rum can it's, beat this it's flavor. Musky and somewhat fruity. Kind of like a salty and flavor and yeah. Yeah, very vegetal. Um, and it comes out in here, but there has been very few cachaca drinks. Maybe this is why Kyle did this. Very few cachaca drinks that I've tasted that I was like, okay, it's cachaca and it's not just there for convenience. It, yeah. It's a cachaca drink and it's not bad. Like when I mean, you get your caipirinhas. It's flavorful. Right. It's it got a fruitiness to it. Which is a good drink, I think. Yeah. Passion fruits, the flaren and the cloves, the... All that comes through, plus you get the melon in there and the defining the cachaca flavor with a little bit of tonic mm. with the high amount of bitters, making great use of the passion fruit. Yep. It, and it does everything. I don't I, I think it's fine not being completely on balance because I don't I don't think it's too heavily it's not sickly sweet. For, because see, for, of the me, cachaca. It, for me it almost is. Really? Yeah. I would use if you wanted to build out the sour, I think even just a little wedge of lime. Yeah. Squeezed and insert in there a little bit. Lime in there. Lime and melon go really well together. Yeah. yeah, I think it'd be fine. You don't necessarily have to go lemon if you want a little lime heavy on this. I think it'd be fine. Lime yeah. in any type of canned yeah. product it's, goes pretty well. It, it goes if you in like the that acidity, direction. If you yeah. want the more of a, I don't know. I typically like acidity. I just don't think it's bad or wrong or different. I don't think but that, I do I, like acidity. I don't think the drink's bad. No, I, I just think, like I think it could be a little better. That's all. Yeah, and I think the acidity would help. Yeah. Don't take so, it personal, Kyle. Still, <laughs> still love you, brother. <laughs> and he uses some of the craziest, wackiest yes. things. Cachaca. He's used grass, vodka, grass vodka. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. Things that he's <laughs> used are, are, are fantastic. Most people... you got to respect somebody who could take the time to take an ingredient like this and balance it out against a number of other things and Absolutely. not have it taste like trash. It's really hard. Like, yeah. whenever we do tonic, what's the other one? Mezcal. Mezcal is tough to work with. And you know what? Adding some lime juice may not work in here. Right? Not, I right? mean, yeah, he it, may have tried it. He may have tried it, so yeah. I, I, I don't know. But uh, if you go to a restaurant and you order a, a mezcal drink and you're like, this is phenomenal, it's 10 times phenomenal because of the work that probably went into yeah. building that. It It's a very rare that you could just throw a bunch of shit together that has mezcal and make it go, oh, that's awesome. To be honest, though, I can see this being a signature drink at a restaurant. Yeah. Question of the yeah. day oh. What's your favorite villain? Comic book or movies? Comic book, Either movie. One, yeah. What else are there? There's no other villains. It's just kind of a story. Literary? Story. Literary. Story, I'll go yeah. with the literary. It sounds better than the story. I sound like a two-year-old. <laughs> literary. What's your favorite story bad guy? <laughs> story bad guys. Movie. Book. What's the other one? <laughs> book is story. DVD. You know who's a great Movie villain? book. The John Steinbeck oh. book, East of Eden. My. The female ex-wife character. I can't remember her name for the life of me. Great villain. Cold-hearted bitch. Share, like, subscribe, follow the show, download our ebooks. We have two free ebooks on homecocktailmenu.com right now that you should be getting, and I haven't specified it. Free, enough. but you could do You could pay if you want to help me. If you want some more free, my family. Stuff, it helps to donate. Yeah.
If you want to see more books, you should donate. If you don't that want way. Liam to starve. Right. Because <laughs> <laughs> Liam starving is bad. Because I have to listen to Actually, a bitch. Actually, he could probably starve for a yeah. little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he won't die. He'll just starve. Yeah. It's okay. It's, it's good for the soul. It's good. Uh, <laughs> that's it. We're teaching you how to drink. Oh, hi. You're still here? Well, while you're here, why don't you subscribe? Check out our Patreon. Uh, maybe donate to the show. And there's a couple links down here for a video. One that you might prefer or one of our awesome playlists. So check that out while you're here. We're done here.